Uh, hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Are you using That's your cool. radio voice for a reason? Uh, yeah, welcome back this to This is the DJ Magic Mike. We are back In the by Crash Bandicoot Hour over our, our show today. We are going to try again to play this fantastic Crash Bandicoot sequel of a sequel. Because <laughs> that is technically the third Mike, game. you might have a voice for radio. <laughs> But you said I don't have a face for the camera. Is that what you're going for? No, you calling me ugly? no. No, I was gonna say your your face isn't good enough for radio either. But I don't know what that means. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see. Oh. So God. before anyone starts with this bullshit, yes, Melanie is playing as Coco. Oh. So let's just skip over the. Here's how you get Coco, guys, because we we got. It, I'm doing right? this so that if people complain later that nobody played as Coco, we can be like, bitch, we played as Coco earlier. And yeah. I'm eating a cookie butter Oreo. That's great, mm. Mike. We are sponsored by. All right, cookie how do I do the thing? Oreo. Uh, I don't think you're. I made it before. How do I? Do uh, it? you jump and then just spin. No. Yes. No. It's it's square. You just keep tapping square and you. It's go. like. Who? Oh, look what you got! Oh, you were so close. So close! I think I have to double jump, don't I? Maybe. Maybe. Give it a trizzy, trizzy try. Got to go back. Don't do yeah. that. Don't do that, though. Yes. So, we uh, did this before, by the way. We just never beat it. Hagrid didn't want me to do this, but I kind of want to do this. Let's talk about Star Wars. Uh, 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 hang on, hang on. Yeah, Before we spo do. Spoiler alert. So if anybody in here is listening and you have not seen the movie and you do not want it to be ruined, maybe just like take your headphones out or uh, I'll turn let, the volume I'll off. I'll let the streamers, the live streamers decide. And if not, I'll just mute them and that way. Because this episode is not going to come out until like You might just want to forget about that and just go the other way. You want to do it? I'll try it. Give it a trizzy try. Stop saying that. Do you like Trizzy Trizzy Try? Something? No. Do you like I... getting Trizzy Trizzy Try or getting Riggedy Riggedy Run? I made it across the one time, but I couldn't, I didn't make it back. You can do it. Yes, you can. And if you can't do it, maybe I can. <laughs> Almost made it. What do we got? Alright, Frogo's taking his headphones out. Randy. Randy! Because by the time this airs, it'll be, you know, It'll be like, March. It'll be you like, should have seen oh, it. Oh, what yeah. kind of shit is that? You should have seen it by now. Just... Oh, Randy's not even a huge Star Wars fan, so okay, I guess do he doesn't it, care. Just do it this time, and then if you die, we'll just forget it. And I'll just start the level over. So, uh... So I guess we can continue. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Um, I'm going to give the last Jedi... Do shit arrows? Yeah. I get it, yeah. See, the thing is, is you that you slide. don't walk into them. You get slop. Okay. Oh no! I definitely got right. splat by a sarcophagus. We're just gonna that. Good start. Good start. I will give. All right. So on to the last Jedi. Okay. Um, I liked it. I loved that's, it. That's that's. that's let, let's start the review there. I definitely liked it. I don't understand the hate. Good movie. Michael. Buy it on, buy it on Blu-ray or whatever people are buying now. 4K. Buy it on a Blu-ray. It ain't gonna 4K. be. Ah! <laughs> can we? Can can you make gray blue? Is that what you're gonna do? Did I just ruin the joke? You blue, you, you gray. read like <laughs> you read way into it. <laughs> you're like that guy from Funny Guy. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, funny because it's, it's true. It's funny because she blew. <laughs> Alright. Hey, hey Atticus Finch, what's going on? Hey, if you don't want us to spoil Star Wars, I'm about to probably drop an A-bomb here and say Yeah, that. yeah, we're, we're going over so Star Wars. So we'll give Wars. you a moment to maybe yeah. take your headphones out yeah, or turn just, your volume down. down. Or if you don't care, just keep listening. I just I just didn't want to like spoil it for anybody. Alright, um, I liked it. Mel loved Wait, it. we're giving him a second. He's good, he knows. Well, I'm okay. not saying anything about it yet. I'm just saying I liked it, you loved it, Mike. Yeah. C+. Plus. C that that's it? C plus. I figured you'd go a little higher than that. B minus. B minus. Fine. That's, I'll curve it. Good. I'll I'll curve I'd, it. I'd give it B plus for originality. That's fine. They they did it I, I think they, they this was the movie where they needed to take the risk and they needed and to they, they took the risk. But um, it was so convoluted oh, and shit. I mean everything was just I mean, all shit. like it gets an A plus for me just based on the forks. <laughs> I don't even care. All right, um, they were the best. So anybody out there, hopefully you're not listening if you don't want spoilers. So Luke's death. We, we want to go there. 
just went right into it, really? didn't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he does. It, it's like when Obi-Wan fades away when Vader kills him. Although, Thor, I mean, uh, Mark Hamill said that he doesn't believe that Luke's really dead, so who knows? Well, he also doesn't believe that Luke's character took the right... But, like, it's not Luke to him, which I get, because he's just very jaded and narcissistic. And... It's not narcissistic. He kind of is. Who's narcissistic? Luke. No, what no, are you he's talking about? kind of is. No. Okay, well, well whatever. He, he's, he's not the Luke that anyone would expect him. Well, it doesn't give any reason why he thinks so. He just says, well, whatever. I just want to move on with the review, okay? Okay. Well, I think they... I'm, I'm not happy that he died. I'm not happy how he died. I get that he had to die eventually. I'm actually glad that he didn't die fighting Kylo Ren. Yes. Thank you. Um, you know... If he was going to die in the movie, that was the best way to do it. Yeah. I think so. No, okay, so what did you gather? Because I've heard somebody say that they were like, no, that doesn't make sense. He shouldn't have died from doing that. But well, I... he, went the, he went out the same way Obi-Wan did. Vader technically didn't kill him. I just didn't, I didn't feel like that he, I thought that he just kind of died because he was finally at peace. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's okay. the idea. It, it's not that he died from exerting too much will. No, yeah, that's what somebody said, and I was like, it's I It's not like he overblew his force power and he that, had to fucking... Right! Oh no, I used too much force to straighten like, my life bar! I don't think that's true. But I D-Solus? Yeah, sure, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, D shout out to D-Solus! D-Solus. Um, so okay, anyway. That was interesting. <laughs> um, oh, fuck those uh, stupid arrows! So, not happy that Luke died and how he died. Not happy about the thing with Ray's parents, although I think Kylo Ren could be lying. What, you don't you don't think that Ray's parents are just a bunch of drunks? This I, is, okay. I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense, but here's my thing. Why would Anakin mm. Skywalker's lightsaber call out to her if she's not in the bloodline? I can't Wrong do number. It. I cannot what? do it. Wrong number. <laughs> Wrong number. Wrong number. I, I, that's that's my whole I thing. Totally, I totally forgot about that in Force Awakens. The lightsaber. Oh, D Solus is Daryl, by the way. Oh, oh hey, Daryl. Daryl, why didn't you tell us you had a fucking channel? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, seriously. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Luke's Luke's supposed. I I honestly it's not supposed. That he's he's gone. I honestly think that they. I don't know. I think they wasted Luke's character in that, throughout that entire film. Like, I get it. He's washed up and disheveled like, I'm giving up. I ain't fucking doing this shit no more. Like, he's just, he's old and tired, doesn't want to do it. But I felt like they didn't... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that is hard. Was your favorite awkward scene when he milked that thing and drank it? Yeah, it was green. <laughs> it was green milk. It was supposed to be blue milk, but it was the wrong color. Uh, anyway, yeah. It, it was weird that the, that fucking, I guess, walrus thing was just sitting out like, Oh, hey, oh, back God, again. God, milk me. Like he was getting off on it or something. Look at my big old chitters. All right, Flexi Frog, we'll see you later, man. I Thank mean, you. what was more awkward, that or Kylo Ren shirtless scene? Kylo Ren shirtless oh, was way more awkward. I mean, he was wearing totally his pants. totally did high. not see it coming. I mean, where was his belly button? Does Do he I need have to really a belly go button? This way? Dude, his pants were almost up to his chest. No, I think it's like a bonus. Okay, fuck it. I'm not going his, his belly button was in there. His pants were almost above his tits. I mean, did you guys like it where Captain Phasma came back and then went away again? I'm so glad she's dead. She's not dead. No, she just fell into some fire. She'll be back. She's totally back. Well, it's possible that she's not. We talk well, about how, how I'm If they're gonna bring Phasma back, can they at least bring Boba Fett back? Can we talk about Snoke and how I'm glad that that was led to nothing? Why? Because I did Okay, not I'm like glad that it's not- I didn't like, like him at all. I think it was the one of the worst I, I like the character arc with Kylo Ren where he becomes the supreme villain. It's yeah. not about Snoke, but here's my problem. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Snoke knows Force Lightning. He clearly can exert his will over people. He's really strong with the dark side of the Force. Where did he learn it? Who is he? Just no, no background info at all. They just completely skip over it. I like, it just seems I, like a waste of a character. I yeah. like this lead up of like this big, like this he's, he's gonna be like this major character like that they set him up so well in The Force I Awakens. Even, I like how he died. I like that whole thing, but like that they didn't say anything about him. That's what bothers me. Oh, I got shot. And it also feels like he died and then was literally never mentioned again. They were just like, oh, okay, oh well. I just, I just like that. Well, honestly, I think, I think Kylo Ren's character developed a lot better because yeah, I, really, I, I, I liked him in this movie. Yeah, I think he was one of my favorites next to Ray. I liked him a lot better in this movie. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Shaky baby syndrome. <laughs> I got a trophy. Keeping him under wraps. 
Oh yeah, I, I, but I wanted to go back to Luke and just be like, I, I feel like there should have been more scenes with him training Rey. Oh, that's good. Daryl's well, never even seen Star Wars. But the thing is, he didn't want to. He told her that he was going to give her basic lessons in the Force. Three okay. basic lessons. Which he did. Because he didn't want to train her as a Jedi. I did kind of think the whole thing with the first Jedi Temple and the ancient Jedi texts, that was a little bit overdone. That was they, a little prequel. I, I feel like they could have done without that. Yeah. He, you know, they, they could have even left it to, well, this is, you know, the planet that the Jedi Damn. originated for, from, and you could have left it at that, but you, the books in the tree and all, like, no, that's just too much. Do you want to talk about overdone? The comedy? Yeah, the comedy was, all right, uh, I did think a lot of it was funny, but it was really forced. It was <laughs> really forced. <laughs> what was your favorite? The favorite favorite bad comedy part? Yeah, yeah. It probably, I realize it's probably not going to go well right at the beginning when Poe Dameron is talking to Hux. Uh, st uh, st uh, still waiting for Hux. Yeah, <laughs> still, like, what the fuck is this? It, it, it reminded uh, me of, like, a Saturday morning fucking show. Wait, what happened? I don't remember how it started. When he, he was, like, flying towards the, uh... The dreadnought. The dreadnought, and he's, like, he, he had a transmission to Hux, and Hux keeps telling him, like, we're gonna destroy you in this oh, and that, and he's, like, still waiting. that part was waiting. funny! No. That was it, funny! It, it, here's the thing, though. Like, is this supposed to be a serious movie or a okay, funny movie? Okay, but do you not remember how Force Awakens started? Force Awakens started by, on uh, it's it started on that, it's then on Jakku. Yeah. Okay, okay, but when Kylo Ren was first introduced... See, that... Who, who talks first? You talk first, I talk first. You talk first, that, I talk first. That was funny. That part is, that that is well-placed comedy. You don't place it... There's another thing. That's not how the Force works. That is good. That is that how you do too. it. I don't know. I thought it was funny. You're talking about, you're talking about when he was talking to Hux and then he acted like he, he there was like a bad connection. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that was funny and very true to Poe's character. Um, I just I just thought like why it was so stupid because why wasn't Hux just like just shoot this asshole. <laughs> yeah, do, do you want to know what my favorite and I'm not joking comedy <laughs> part was? What? When Luke's training Ray and he's like close your eyes. Yeah, reach yeah. out, she reaches yeah, out, okay. and he smacks See. her with the leaf. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, you must be so strong with the force. Like, that is that good. part got me. That was great. That was great. But you want to know what my funniest part was in the movie? What? When Leia f flies back into the ship like yeah. Mary Poppins. I, can we just skip over that? That did, was did that you, was. Did horribly... you mean Leia Poppins? Leia and you Poppins. want to know the thing too is, I thought that scene was terrible. But if you really watch it, like it was a cool looking scene. The CGI was done well, but it was just stupid. I thought gravity was you know just what? taking its course. Oh, can we talk about dropping bombs in zero gravity and somehow they have weight? Maybe they were magnetrons. Maybe they were magnetic. Oh, there like, is no gravity? Not in space, no. No. When when Rose's sister's dropping the bombs on the dreadnought and they all just fall like... There, there's maybe no... they're magnetically attracted that. to the ship. That's how they fell. I don't know. Yeah, maybe well, Leia maybe there's was gravity. magnetically attracted to her yeah. ship. Maybe there's okay. gravity in the ship, and that gravity kind of put enough force on them. But I don't know. I'm sure there's a rhyme or reason to it, but it was kind of stupid. Oh, yeah, because you float in space. You'll float, too. Yeah, you you you'll, did not like float. Laura Durham's character. There are 15. Who, Rose? Yeah, Rose. No, no. no we liked Rose. No, no, Rose. not. Laura Dern was the Wait, fucking purple hair girl. The the voice uh, ad, Holdo, or whatever, Holdo. And what about that bitch with the large nose? What had a large nose? The one that was always with the woman with the purple hair? I totally didn't Her know. Her nose there. was like seven feet yeah, long. Yeah, she was stupid. Oh, I, I, and Admiral Akbar just... No, he's dead. Two minutes into the movie, they're like, we lost Admiral Akbar. Like, really? It wasn't two minutes into the movie. It, it was like... It was... It was like an hour. It was no. not an hour. It was not an hour. It was we a, talk about the it, it was it was when Lu it was when Leia got thrown. It was out very of the long. Ship. It was a very long movie. Like my All right, so I was trying to tell you, Mel. There are 15 deleted scenes that are going to be released when they put it out on DVD. Ooh. Oh, it, yeah. not Star Wars. No. Can we also talk about it? We never talked about it. That was a damn good movie. That was really good. Ten ten, we'd watch again. Sure. All right, bye, Randy. Bye, Rando. Are you sick of our Star Wars talk? <laughs> we're just ignoring the chat. So we we got to get this off our chest, guys. Sorry if we're just. If it's too much. Yeah, sorry, sorry. And yeah. that the gameplay is zero out of ten right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> zero out of ten. We've only Fucking played up. one level. Oh god, I'm gonna get flattened again. You gotta wait for it, dude. Uh, Maybe we should just let everybody play this level, and you should just pay us. Um, can we talk about something else that bothered me in Star Wars, though? What? 
They, it felt like in 7 they made a big deal about Kylo Ren's the leader of the Knights of Ren. And there's no Ren Knights! There's, they never mentioned them. There's, like... Uh, my assumption was gonna be, oh, he took, like, all of Luke's apprentices, you know, all the, the Padawans after he destroyed the Jedi Order or whatever, and that's, you know, some bullshit that he started or whatever. But then they're like, no, he just killed them all. Like, um, okay. So, yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> Run! Fine. He forgot to run. It's all right. It's all right. It's all good. Anywho. Anyway, I liked it. It was good. People on the internet need to stop crying and being like, "You need to remove it from the kid in the Star Wars because it disgraced the fucking the saga." And it's like, dude, it was a good movie. Sorry they didn't do what everyone expected them to do, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta. Again, not know, not sure why you're surprised at Star Wars. I'm fans not really excited for Episode being Nine. Cry babies. Why? Just, yeah, that's what that movie did to me. Maybe I just need to watch it again, so it has a less sour good. taste. It's a very good movie. Uh, uh, I mean, you, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. Oh! No, no, I'm, I'm just fucking. I'm, I'm just fucking with you. I don't think you hated it. It's just it's not what you expected. Which that's what everyone's problem. Whatever. As long as you didn't sign the petition, then we can still be friends. He probably. Will. I think a lot of people are realizing. Mike's probably heading up the petition. He's probably sitting in the theater going, "Nope, nope, we're not doing this." I think a lot of a lot of people are kind of realizing that Star Wars is a very limited universe to work with. There's not much you can really do with it. Oh, we're gonna, I, I, you know what? I bet there's gonna Get be a giant, a, a giant planet killing base in Episode Nine. No, they already did that in Seven. And they did that again in Six too. Well, yeah, <laughs> because they can't do anything else in Star Wars. No, but the thing is, sooner or later, the First Order slash Empire slash whatever has to figure out that, oh shit, it, you know, building giant things that destroy planets have worked out so well so far, like... Let's just do it again. Do it again. All right, are we, all right. Again. are we all rushed out of Star Wars now? Yeah, we never talked about it. What's your guys' favorite Star Wars instead of saying the title? Just say the number. Uh, favorite Star Wars? Don't tell me what to do. Favorite Star Wars, guys? Force uh, Awakens. Which no, is number episode which seven. Number seven. Mike. I'm gonna have to say Empire. It's kinda of, kind of close though for me. Yeah. Mike Mike's is five. Mine's just, just leave the monkey alone. Okay. Mine's mine's six, Return of the Jedi. What? Get out of there! Oh my, what, what is wrong I'm with you? It's fine, it's fine. Which one's yours, Empire? No, Return of the Jedi. Oh, Episode six. Episode six? Oh yeah, you don't even like him. I do. I do. It, at first this thing good. First, I didn't like it, but oh, hey! I got Yeah, I did it. See, it's interesting. Ten out of ten. <laughs> because uh, I liked it more the first time I watched it than the last time we watched. It. All right, no more Star Wars. Next time, the game. Counts. Next time, Next bye. Time. bye. See ya. I guess you could just call that. Just to see ya. Couch episode one. Ah. Uh. <laughs>